Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016-2017 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're doing number 18 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. You'll see this problem right here. We're going to be evaluating an expression and we're going to be using order of operations to solve this. Or another way of saying order of operations is PEMDAS. When we think of PEMDAS, we're thinking about the order or the rules in which we would govern working through a problem like this. In general, we're always going to start with parentheses and exponents. Then we're going to work through the next level would be multiplication and division. And then finally, any type of addition and subtraction. We can apply these rules to a lot of different types of computation and evaluating expressions. But in general, um, you're going to follow this strict or this hierarchy of, uh, of operations. So let's just apply some of this right now with PEMDAS on this, this sort of very basic uh, problem here, okay? Let's take a look at this one. Whenever evaluating an expression, sometimes it's good to chunk the problem up and identify the addition and subtraction problems. And, and what I mean is this, we're going to save the addition and subtraction stuff to the end. So we know that we got to work through this problem here, and then we got to work through this problem here, and, and then this one right here. And once we have those quantities, we're going to be doing some subtraction and addition. Is that fair? All right, so now I, I have these three separate smaller problems, which I'm going to solve, and then it's just going to be an addition and subtraction problem. I think that's a really nice way to, to organize yourself when you're solving these. First, we'll do this stuff right here. We're taking the square root of what's inside. The square root is almost like a parenthesis. So in this case right here, I'm going to do the square root of 9 plus 16, or 25, minus, now what's going on here? I do the exponent first. So 2 squared is 4. So this is minus 12 divided by 4. And finally, our last problem is going to be, I do the, the stuff in the uh, parentheses. 9 minus 5 is 4. So we have plus 3 times 4. We still have a little bit more to do in each one of these sections before we add and subtract these values. Finally, the square root of 25 is 5, minus 12 divided by 4 is 3, plus 3 times 4 is 12. We add these values up. 5 plus 12 is 17, minus 3 gets you 14. The answer here is C. Team, this is a very basic PEMDAS question. So it's worthwhile just to use it as a way to um, practice this stuff. I like to recommend to teachers to as much as possible to use the addition and subtraction as a way to chunk up the problem to smaller sub um, calculations. That way you can focus on evaluating each one of these different expressions, come up with values, and then just do an addition and subtraction problem to get to an answer, okay? All right, team, this is Chris Abram from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day, team. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English, and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL, and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.